Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore and learn about rock music from Bandcamp. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at Morgan Delt's self-titled album, his debut album. It came out in 2014, so that's coming up. So Morgan Delt has been referred to as the neo-psych sorcerer of Los Angeles. He creates neo-psychedelic music, obviously, uh, psychedelic rock, jangly rock music. A lot of people compare him to the early works of Pink Floyd. There's also some people that say his music remind them of the OCs. I really couldn't find that much information about Morgan Delt, to be honest. I tried to look up some interviews, but there really weren't that many interviews. I also tried to just check out his background story, but there was really hard to find anything. So uh, yeah, th then I don't have anything to tell you about him like personally. So let's just jump right into the actual review. The first song that I want to mention is the first one off of the album. It's called Make My Gray Brain Green. Immediately when you hear the intro, the song feels kind of fragmented. There are so many things happening at the same time. There's noise, there's lo-fi uh, static going on in the background. There's some hiss. And uh, you also hear these melodies that are kind of layered on top of each other. And immediately when I heard this, it felt kind of random, but it started to grow on me the more I, I listened to the song. <laughs> really listen to this you hear that the guitar and Delt's vocals are kind of building the mainframe for what is leading the melody forward here. The song sounds kind of tribal in a way because there's this very simplistic drumming, there's some clapping, there's a tambourine, 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 is that how you say it? Anyways, it's very tribal, it feels very simplistic and uh, it's very easy to kind of keep the beat and uh, keep the rhythm of the song in your mind because it's just it's moving forward all of the instruments here and and this is something that you will find as a pattern throughout the whole album all of the instruments have kind of a layer or a filter on them that makes them sound old-fashioned uh, you will find that all of the songs have this lo-fi edge to them so it's not very polished type of music. Another thing that is very evident here, but also in like all the other songs on the album, is the ghostly and whispery delivery of Delt's vocals. He doesn't seem to take the lead role of, of the melody, he doesn't take the center stage on the album, so, so to speak. So he leaves a lot of space for all the other instruments, and his voice becomes more of a it's, it's like he's part of the scenery. His voice is resembling more an instrument than a leading voice role, vocal role. Make My Grey Bring Green is a very whimsical song. I would say that speeds up as you listen to it. There's two points in the song as you as it progresses where it actually turns up the speed. The speed is turned up and it, it just sounds so weird, uh, but it's really interesting to listen to and it makes you more engaged and you want to invest more in listening several times to the track. I want to say that at the end of the day, this was quite a slow burner of a track for me. I, I had to listen to it several times in the beginning. I really didn't care that much for it, but eventually, I started getting into it in a way. The next track that I want to mention that stood out to me is the fourth one and it's called Mr. Carbon Copy. The time signatures of the song is what you will immediately react to because it follows this 7-4 and 3-4 time signature. If I haven't counted wrongly, I think it's those two. And um, it's kind of confusing to begin with, but then again, it, it adds a little bit of depth to the song and um, after listening to it for a while, you see that, oh, it's circled around in this very graspable melody. So although it might be a little bit challenging, it is something that you learn to like after listening to the song more. I went for a walk and I listened to this album one more time after listening to it here in my room. 
And uh, I realized that this song actually has a very polarized nature. The verse is very cartoony. It is very, very uplifting and positive. And then the chorus comes in and it's really dark and and uh, gloomy in a way. Delt also talks about this character, Mr. Car Carbon Copy. And when I went outside and I went for a walk and I listened to the song, I started imagining this world with Mr. Carbon Copy, who's kind of going through this adventurous journey. He's experiencing hard times and then, I don't know, something happens. And um, I started to like it because it catered to my fantasy a little bit. Then you have the sixth track, which is called Little Zombies. This song starts out with a very foggy and hazy soundscape. There really isn't any clear melody to kind of grasp onto here. so much going on but suddenly during the I don't know what you would call this passage but there is a passage later on where the soundscape is very stripped down to a bass line there's a guitar and there's stealth vocals and it it's just very simplistic compared to what you heard before so the song starts out with this very noisy hazy weird atmosphere it goes to a much more clearer one one that is stripped down and easily kind of accessible and then the third part of the third portion of the song it steps into this folky atmosphere which was kind of random and surprising to me uh, it features an acoustic guitar there's some flutes here and the overall atmosphere and mood is much more warmer and, and welcoming when I listen to the song, I get the sense that Delt really didn't have any ambitions for the song. He didn't want to create anything big. He just went with whatever came to him in his creative moment. Maybe this song was created very off the cuff. At least that is, that is the vibe that I'm getting. And um, I don't know, it just feels very nice to listen to. The fact that he doesn't go for any traditional structure. He has these three parts in the song. As it unfolds, it's very novel. Um, yeah, I like this one. Now the next track that I wanna mention is the seventh one on the album. It's called Chakra Sharks. And um, the most outstanding part of the song is probably the guitar and bass hook during the intro or the verse of the song. Like right there at the front, it is really accessible, just catches you immediately. And uh, I would definitely say that this is one of the more poppy and more conformed songs off of the album. <laughs> I think it's also a good thing that this song is kind of short because it really isn't that versatile. You only have like, I think there's two different portions of the song that is kind of recycled over and over. And um, I don't know, I, I like short songs and this did it really well for me. Now, there are other songs on this album, obviously, that I also enjoyed quite a bit, but these that I mentioned were like the <gasps> the holy grail of uh, the, the album, sort of. Uh, but other songs that I liked are, for example, track number 10, Tropicana, amazing. I love this ba 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 gibbery vocal performance, vocal style that Dell has here. Um, Again, I also like its its length. It's like two minutes long, I think. Main title sequence is the last song here. Uh, amazing track as well, really warm. Uh, kind of ends the album on a, maybe not on a very epic note, but at least it's quite warm and it has like a nice ending to it that you really don't want to skip. You just want to be there for, for the ride. Now, just to sum up the album, I really want to say that this Again, it was a slow burning album for me. I had a really hard time getting into it at first, but then as I continued to listen to it, as I stayed consistent, it just slowly started to take over my mind sort of. Um, so that might be the thing for you as well. I feel like this album was parted in two different sections in a way. Uh, you have songs that are very psychedelically dense. Songs like Make My Grey Brain Green, uh, Siberian Kings, Barbarian Kings, sorry, Lil Zombies, uh, Backwards, Bird Ink. Those were really dense 
in its uh, psychedelic nature. There are songs that are a little bit more heavy. There's more effects going on. There's really just more things going on and more stuff to dive into. And you kind of need to give those songs more listens. At least that is what I experienced. Then you have other songs that are less psychedelically dense, in my view. Songs like uh, Beneath the Black and Purple, Mr. Carbon Copy, Obstacle Eyes. Uh, these are more accessible. They have more of a prominent forefronting melody that is more, it's, it's easier to get into it. Now, third thing that I want to say about this album is that I love Morgan Delt's vocals. They are probably not the most outstanding ones. I'm not going to remember him as being this amazing singer. He probably isn't, but he just uses his vocals as, a me as an instrument and he knows exactly where to put this instrument in the mix of it all. His vocals contribute a lot to the overall atmosphere of this psychedelic, mesmeric, soundscape and i yeah it just perfectly fit in like a perfect piece into like the last piece of a jigsaw that is what his vocals are like so morgan dell's self-titled album i'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten uh if you like this album if you like this artist you might want to check out other modern neo psychedelic bands such as tame impala psychedelic porn crumpets um King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard, Moon Duo, these are some great bands. And if you're looking to get into the old school uh, psychedelic rock music from the 1960s, I highly suggest you check out Pink Floyd's early albums. Cream made some amazing albums, The Beatles, of course, and uh, King Crimson. Those are just a few. So yeah, that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like to share, explore, and learn about rock music from Bandcamp, then I highly suggest you click the red subscribe button below. And also make sure you hit that bell icon beside the subscribe button, because in that way, you'll always get notified when I upload new videos to this beautiful place right here. Da da! Hey! Again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you later. Stay tuned. Bye.